<laughs> Have you gone shopping lately? Nope. It's a sneedium. <laughs> Mike Miller here in Yuma, Arizona, cooking in my kitchen today. Where'd the shirt come from? Columbia. Columbia. This is their local beer. This is an extra large. I really don't think I'm that big. My medium shirt's getting a little tight. Putting the 805's away. Four spike seltzers. 100 calories versus. I don't think it would say on there. I think they're embarrassed to say. I can drink more of these, I think. Oops, sorry. You know, you can put them in my cool cup. That Sloan. Oh, here, you want to taste this? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, pina colada one's better. <laughs> she won't drink out of my cup because it's disgusting. I agree with her. It is disgusting. But what is what? <sighs> Eight oh five only has one hundred forty one. Well, Leave I up. can drink. <clears throat> you can drink like one. Three extra. to two. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well keep on it. So here we go. We're making meatloaf. So just so everybody knows. I hated meatloaf for the longest part of my life, and then I found a recipe that had bacon on top, and I said, ooh, that's got to make meatloaf better, and it did. So I've made meatloaf a few times. It's always been my meatloaf, not my meatloaf. I follow somebody else's recipe. But today, I'm following a couple of different recipes. The one that I usually try to follow, which if you look online, most meatloafs all have the same recipe. It's not very complicated. Today, I'm taking out a bunch of the ingredients from the meatloaf that I've normally make, and I'm taking Sam, the cooking guy's uh, recipe a little bit, and we're gonna take all the seasoning mix out and put in, um, what is it? Fajita mix. Fajita mix, look, I didn't even write it down. That was the only thing. <laughs> so one, one package of fajita mix, there you go. Yeah, we're gonna cut the onion. So if anybody's been wondering where I've been, I've been right here in Yuma, Arizona. I haven't left anywhere. My daughter, on the other hand, went to Portugal, and she is my videoer and editor, and she's been gone for, since when to when? Uh, like mid-September to end of November. So we're gonna dice up one onion, we're gonna grill it, or brown it. So we're going to cut these up, dice them, we're gonna put some jalapeno in, and, and we'll put the link to both recipes down below. So if anybody wants to see, you can see how I butchered both of them up to make what we're making today. I hope they turn out good. Sure, most of what I'm talking about right now is gonna get cut out by time lapse <laughs> video. So, what have you done recently? I got a job. Oh my God, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. So did you get a job because you wanted one or did you get a job just to shut your dad up? Both, it's funny, I was about to start applying and then they were like, we need someone. I was like, sweet. Applying is the worst thing ever. Why? You never get it. I think I would get a job. Uh, skin. How, where did they come from? <laughs> oh, you know what? I gotta get the avocado oil. I got my smiley face working today so we can be happy. What are we gonna be? Happy. That's right, that's right. So I already got the olive oil in, a couple tablespoons full. So we're gonna cook these down a little bit and then I'll add the jalapenos in. Did I say olive oil? No. Yeah. I think I just said up oil. It's avocado oil if I well, got right that there. wrong. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That looked, it he was cool really... for a minute. <laughs> Okay, so it calls for about three quarters of a cup of panko. So we're gonna put about three quarters, maybe a little bit more, because we're using a little bit. And it doesn't call for toasting it, but we're gonna toast our, um, just because I think, I really don't like soggy stuff. I think that's why, as a kid, I hated meatloaf, is because the crap was soggy. And I've already got the oven on for 350. Um, because that's what the meatloaf calls for. So we're gonna toast this up, and there we go. Looks better now. Didn't do it so aggressive. That was a drinking mic. 
got a little carried away. Wanted to look cool, look stupid. Oh, we can start on the sauce. It calls for a half a cup of uh, ketchup. Well, the recipe calls for a quarter cup. We're doubling it. So we're going to put in a half a cup, which is about that much. And I think that's about that much. Might as well just take the whole thing off. <laughs> I think you're so smart. You're just mad. I thought of it. No, I thought of it. You just remembered it. So we'll put in four teaspoons of vinegar. One. Two, three, four. And it calls for about four tablespoons of brown sugar as well. So there's two and three. I know they're heaping, they probably ended up being more, but kind of like my crap fleet, Sam's has Chipotle. And I thought, ooh, that'll be freaking awesome. Well, that is pretty much diced, no? Yeah. You oh, it's to. already diced. Yeah. Damn it. One, two, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it this way, so we're just gonna, maybe it's a little light. Maybe I should have been a teaspoon. I could play a song if I only had a tone for music. We'll see how spicy this is, and if I think I need to put some more chipotle in. More sugar, we want it sweeter. So you should probably turn those down to a simmer. And check on your breadcrumbs. Yep, they're done. <laughs> that was quicker than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, damn it. Burnt? No. Very Perfectly toasty. toasted. Good call, Sloan. Okay, back to mixing. Thank goodness we didn't burn the panko. Otherwise, it would have meant another batch of panko. Did I say that right? Panko? Mm -hmm. Panko. Ooh. Good? Too hot? I think so. No, I think, I think you could take it a little bit more. Two in there. Yeah? Yeah. Not the big one like that. No. Yeah, you can. That's why I don't do that. You see it all blew out the top? Hmm. Oh, Still well. worked. I know. Okay, so that takes care of our onions, jalapenos, and the garlic, the toasting of them. Hmm. You turned off the oven. I did not. Yep, they're done. <laughs> yes, you did. That's that weird. We got two pounds of hamburger, and we got a one and a half pounds of ground pork. We're gonna add these in. We're gonna mix up some ingredients, and usually. I would mix all this stuff up by hand. It's gross. So we're going to try a different way today and we're going to see if my electric mixer can handle the task. Can you move that? That big 805 sponsor. <laughs> oh, so where was it? Um, using the hand mixer. Oh yeah, so I'm not going to mix it by hand. Hopefully I'm not going to mix it by hand. One of the recipes calls for a half a cup. That's half cup. Of uh, Greek yo yogurt. I'm going to put in a package of fajita mix. So this is what's taking up. Because my other one takes mustard, cumin, all kinds of other ingredients. So this has... <laughs> Too much for me to read. All of those ingredients. Please read the fine print. And what else we got? Pepper sauce. Don't forget we have jalapeno and green chili. Oh, who's, whose pepper sauce am I using? Same. You got it for a gift. Well, probably my anniversary. Was it my anniversary? Uh, Sam? Possibly. This is the <laughs> special ingredient. 
from Sam, the cookie guy that I've never thought of using. So we're going to use some spicy green chili. A couple of eggs. And why do we put eggs in it? Mm, to glue it together. Oh, dang it. I thought that was like smart. You, know, you, you don't put eggs in hamburgers. They hold together. I don't know, no, man. So that's pretty much that all of our ingredients. Oh, it's not all of our ingredients. Gosh, darn. <laughs> it's pretty filled. Huh? It's pretty filled. I hope this works because I really don't want to need this out. Oh, dude, I think it's going to work. What do you think? Yeah. It looks totally cool. That looks insane. <laughs> I'm sure it's just building everybody's appetite right now. Look at that. Yeah, that looks delicious. That saying? looks like the the McDonald's chicken nugget mix. <laughs> For years, McDonald's has been trying to kill this photo. Don't put the metal stuff in the tough one. Oh, I'm sorry. That was me. <laughs> I know. Usually, I would cook these in a, a bread pan, but I've recently seen that people will just cook these and just form them, which... People? Sam. They don't call for them to be in bread pan. I don't know wherever I got that. But it just seemed like meat. Well, I loaf. Guess, I guess because bread loaf. Well, I guess because my parents always had meatloaf cooked in a pan. God, this is gonna be a big ass meatloaf. Ah, oh, dang that. That's way more than I thought I bargained for. Okay, so we're just gonna push this out, dude. This is a big ass meatloaf, man. No, no, grossed out. So now we're gonna pour our sauce on. Oh yeah, now we're pouring our sauce on. <laughs> Sorry, I get focused sometimes. This, this is gonna be so good. And then the last part, which this isn't Sam's, this is the other recipe, and you guys are, like I said, you guys can break this crap all down. Thinly sliced bacon, because I guess obviously we want it to cook faster than slower. And this is it's just regular bacon. Now, when I do it in a bread pan, I have to actually cut these little pieces of bacon in half mm -hmm. because they, uh, it's hard to tuck them. Now, if I was smart, I probably could have crisscrossed them, right? So the fat piece goes to the eh. skinny piece. I'm trying to suck my gut in. <laughs> feel like I'm fat in a shirt. <laughs> you can always wear a different shirt. Well, now I can't. I've already wore this one. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's showing me her booby. You know there's a reflection <laughs> in the... <laughs> you gotta tell me if that's in there. <laughs> no doubt it is. We're just gonna throw a couple pieces of bacon on here. Well, the other thing I wanna do is I wanna put brown sugar on those pieces of bacon. And how much time do you cook this for? I think about 30 minutes or so, but we gotta get the inside temperature to like 160, so... I don't kill anybody. But I really, most important for me, and I think the bacon's gotta be crispy. Yes. Because the bacon ain't crispy, that's gonna be super gnarly. Now, we drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, after a couple of, what are they? Seltzers. Seltzers. We've decided that we're going to add a little bit more of these green chilies across the top. Right over the top. I would do the glaze first. Right over the top of the glaze. Okay. We're getting close. So we are about 150 degrees. We're going to wait about another 10 minutes. So the bacon's getting done. We're going to put the sauce on top. And it's going to be marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Don't mind the burnt sugar. We should have put that. That was from our bacon. We should have put it on a different pan. Yeah, we're good. We're humans. This is reality TV. This isn't perfection TV. 
So yeah, there we go. We've got some green chilies up on top. We're gonna go about 10 minutes. And then I think we're gonna be done. We'll be back after another drink. Cheers. I think I like the seltzer drinking them out of the cup though. Really? Yeah, because you can put them in the cup that's on ice. You get to drink it out of the straw. So here's my bacon. I've already ate the two burnt pieces that were in the back. His favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I liked them. They were awesome. Uh, and you can even see that it's like a little black. And you can see on the pan, sorry about the, the nastiness looking thing, but it was good. So we'll eat some of the bacon. So the funny thing is it's kind of soft, but the brown sugar. I know, she shouldn't eat and talk. But, oh, <laughs> super good. You gonna try a piece of them? Is it grossing you out? See you back in about five, six minutes. Good bacon though? I like it. I think, once again, should be on a rack elevated so all the grease drips off. Sugar stays on top. I'm gonna be full before the bacon, uh, what's it called? Meatloaf. Meatloaf is done. Better than your mama's. Better than your mama's meatloaf. Meatloaf. Gotta get that Got the meatloaf meat coming. Someone order the meatloaf. What what nationality is meatloaf? I don't know. American. Especially when it's better than your mama's. I like that. That That's was a good, good call. One. Boom! Okay, now the challenging part. What are we gonna set it on? Oh, it's heavy. And it's hot. It's only about 350 degrees. It's a lot of grease. Awesome. That is a pretty looking meatloaf. Sending out previews. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Damn it! Well, I dropped it. We might as well try it. Damn it. That is so good. Ooh, you can taste the uh, green chili. It's a little bit of spice. You know what? Hmm? This meatloaf is better than your mama's. Remind me not to eat off the table. <laughs> but the drop had to do it. I love that spice. Dude, that spice just comes in at the right time. <laughs> it's good for meatloaf. Better than your mama's. <laughs> your mama had never made no meatloaf. Oh, my mama. My mama either. His mom. Tanya, you want to come try this? No. I don't know. Su I don't know. If Susan makes me meatloaf. You never. I know it's better than my mama's meatloaf, but <laughs> we'd have to see how Susan's meatloaf is. My biological mother's meatloaf. Don't know. That's right. But that is some pretty good meatloaf. You like it? I will say. See you later. Thanks. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hit the, uh, all right, says subscribe. Hit, yeah. yeah. Hit all the buttons. Hit them all. Hit them all. Whatever button we are on, just do it. And we'll be back again sometime in the near future with another video. Thank you very much. Awesome.